Well, good morning, everybody. It is so great to be with you today. And today I was thinking a lot about something I think we can all relate to. Have you ever felt crabby before? I know that I have. And when I'm crabby, I get complainy. I can complain about anything. It's too hot, it's too cold, I have to clean my cat's litter box again, nobody made me breakfast this morning, all good reasons to complain. And when I'm crabby, everything is wrong and nothing is right. And it turns the whole day into a bad one. Not just for me, but for everyone who has to listen to it. Maybe you can relate to that. And when we're crabby, sometimes what we really need is a bit of time to cool off, eat a snack, take a nap, and get back into the day with a better attitude. Because, let's face it, complaining doesn't usually help a whole lot. And I think the Israelites were pretty crabby in our Bible story for this week, and that made them pretty complainy too. If you remember last week, Moses sent Joshua and Caleb to see the promised land, the land of ice cream and chocolate, and the Israelites did not want to continue. They wanted to go back to Egypt. They refused to go into the promised land like God had asked them to, and now they're complaining about it. Why are we even here? Where's the food and water? Why would God bring us out to the wilderness in the first place? Why can't we be back in Egypt? But God reminds the Israelites that their complaining probably isn't going to get them anywhere and that his plans are better than theirs. So he found something that might make them stop. He sent many poisonous snakes into their camp and many of the Israelites got bit. And suddenly, just like that, the Israelites snapped out of their fit and were sorry instead of crabby, and they begged Moses to help them. But God, like he always does, he shows up with a solution. So God had Moses put a bronze snake on a post, and if any of the Israelites just looked at it, they would be healed from any pain the snakes had caused them. Now, of course, I hope none of us ever have a close encounter with poisonous snakes, But sometimes we experience the consequences of our negative actions too. Just like the Israelites, we get crabby and complainy, and we say things we don't mean or we get angry, and those actions have consequences. But just like the Israelites, God has us heading towards something greater than we could ever imagine. So I challenge each of us this week to turn our anger and our crabbiness into gratitude and remember God's great love for us, all the blessings he gives us. And when we really need it, maybe we'll take a deep breath, grab a snack, take a nap, and continue on when we're ready. But until then, let's pray about it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us and forgiving us, even when we're crabby. Help us to remember that you have blessed us with more than we could ever imagine by sending your son, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen.